Alright, morning peeps. So, day two of the, um, of the vlog. Welcome to my vlog. And if, you, if it's your first time here, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe and all that fun stuff. So quickly, um, on this video, I'm going to be talking about this ND filter because it's the first time I picked it up. I watch a lot of review about like ND filters and whatnot, and I was just like amazed about the quality and whatnot. Actually, I don't know if you can tell the difference. Hold on. So there's a difference if I rotate from left so we see how that that kind of like the light is bright and then now it's a little closer there it's probably normal i cannot tell hopefully it's nice so as i'm gonna be vlogging around my day i'm gonna be mentioning about what i like and don't like about this filter but overall i watch reviews nothing but good reviews will i recommend an andy filter stay around and find out Okay, so we just got back from grocery store right now and uh, gonna get some food and uh, I'm gonna keep talking a bit about this uh, ND filter because as you guys saw in the b-roll that I shot on our way to the grocery it just like the images are crazy I'm just like pff, baffled <laughs> trying to go catch the sunset and get some footage as well and I quickly just want to um, kind of like put my thoughts out there regarding the uh, ND filter the Peter McKinnon version um to be honest like this is kind of like the first time I own the filter so I really didn't shoot with it that much but I took some picture with it but I think this is not the filter thing, but it's more like because the lens, I'm shooting with the 16 and 35 right now. It's extremely wide. The corner, top and bottom corner, more like diagonally, I can see kind of like some black shadow there a little bit stronger. I'll show you guys an example of the picture that I'm talking about here. So that picture, I took it with the ND filter on, but I, it was completely wide. That's why um, you have a little bit of a, vignette around the edge but if you kind of like punch in you go from 16 maybe like to 20 23 or close to 25 millimeter you can definitely get rid of those that's just like one thing is it worth it though that i would say that's definitely depends on your budget at the end of the day and depends on the production quality that you want to go with i would admit that this filter is not cheap it's definitely not cheap so um but if you're definitely into you know pushing your content you can definitely go for it but at the end of the day i would say it's definitely optional um is it worth it for me i would say it's worth it <laughs> because i always aim to try to kind of like really get like some really higher produce some high quality content and whatnot and this filter as you guys can see from the b-roll definitely um was able to allow me to achieve those crazy looking dynamic range with my uh with my camera and whatnot so final thoughts i would say great product and uh a bit pricey that's 100 percent sure is it worth it definitely worth it as well but at the end of the day you can definitely find many filter out there like before even purchasing this one i watch a lot of reviews on youtube and stuff like that so um yeah there's kind of like the train coming so i watch a lot of review and whatnot but like the selling point for this filter for me was mainly the fact that you have marks right from two to five you can actually adjust know that where you are actually standing to be able to you know um achieve the look that you want to rather than just have a filter that just rotate and and definitely i'd say so that's ultimately my thoughts on uh on the Peter McKinnon and the filter. So guys, I think for today, uh, that's pretty much it. I was kind of like trying to experiment with this ND filter and just see what I can achieve with it. But overall, I will see you in my video for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna vlog. I don't know what I'm gonna vlog about, but I think we have a few journey that we're gonna do. So I'll definitely take you guys along the ride and then uh, we'll show you around this beautiful place that I am. Until then guys, See you tomorrow.